If you spend enough time making portraits for your clients, you probably at some point look for a solution to help you with the most common or biggest problem for your clients to solve, which is the question, what do I do with my hands? You can instruct them to avoid doing the crab and I'll, or tell them to don't touch your face, please. But after you went through a couple of poses, it actually gets tiring to guide their every single movement. But I may have a solution for you. There's an organic way to make a subject feel more at ease with their hands. And for this case, we'll be using a posing table. The posing table though is quite expensive at $200, but I have a solution for you that's gonna cost you less than 50. So this is really great, especially in the current pandemic economy. Don't worry, it's gonna look professional and everyone's gonna look at you like, wow, this is actually pretty awesome. What's up guys, Evans B here, Montreal portrait and advertising photographer, or the opposite sometimes. So for the naysayers, why have a posing table for those who don't see the need, right? Well, if you look at portrait masters such as Annie Libovitz or Peter Lindbergh, they have been using tables or posing tables forever in order to make the subject look more comfortable or actually look more relaxed. Here are a few examples, pretty classic ones. So if ever you dream to reach this level of photography, the posing table might be the actual thing for you. And there are many ways to skin this cat and in this video we'll show you actually two ways you can get it done. And because we're frugal here, first let's look at the cheap option. So the construction of a mobile posing table is actually quite simple if you take a look at the design. It consists of three elements, a base, a padded top, and a piece of fabric. Now that's out of our way, let's find a way to make it our own. And a small caveat here, now we have to talk about this. You can get it done with a very simple wooden table, right? That has a beautiful grain and texture. But in my opinion and my research, finding one takes an enormous amount of time and a lot of dumpster diving and hunting. Like, who has time for that? So back to the solution. I personally bought a speaker stand with a tripod design. The reasoning behind this tripod design is that it's actually much more stable than a, let's say, circular pattern table, since the subject on top is likely to move and the tripod typically guarantees that the object on top of it, like a speaker, won't move much. Also, a tripod design guarantees that the height can be adjusted to fit your actual taller clients. If you need a similar copy to the one you see right now, please head to the description below and you'll find a link to the Adorama store or I believe I will also link one to Amazon. Now padding is where you can actually save money. I mean, literally anything you can do. You can use a pack, t-shirts, old foam from a shipping case, something you found in a recycling bin somewhere, like basically anything. In my case, I'm using a high density foam that came from packing material that I had from a shipping. I don't remember what it is, but it's firm and it will last for a while. But if you feel a little fancier, you can always get softer material, such as inserts for couches or for chairs. But keep in mind that it will drive up the cost if ever you can't get a cheap or a free option. And now the third part is to make the table look actually aesthetic. We need cloth. And this, again, you'll be raiding your closet to find the piece of cloth that you need. Or if you can't find anything, typical department stores will sell cloth. You can get some at Walmart or at any big box store that is around your town. And now you only need 10 yards of it. You just choose a small amount of quantity and it'll be totally fine. I chose black since it pretty much fits with anywhere. But if you feel fancy or you have any other colors in mind, please go ahead and select them. Now you can actually choose to either leave the cloth as is on the table and keep the table as a flexible tool or actually sew the bottom and make it kind of semi-permanent. And if you suck at sewing like me, there's always a good old stapler. Just remember to sharpie the actual silver staples in black. And also, big bonus, if you got the model I suggested in the description below, you will actually receive two speaker stands. So you might as well convert one permanently to like a black one and have fun with the second one. Be creative. And option two, the actually most expensive version. So the other option is to get a garage working table. And it'll look like the same, I have one here. I personally use mine as a rolling working station where I drop my lenses and my cameras and some stuff, since this table is close to invincible. 
and it will never ever tilt over. But we have to keep in mind that it is much more expensive than the actual speaker stand, but the dual functionality of having uh, a working table and a actual posing table is a killer functionality. And this is where the money is really coming from. And also a big note, the minimal height might be too high for some clients. So if you have a client that's on the shorter side, the trick is always to use an apple box to actually prop them up, to actually give them the few inches they're missing to actually look comfortable. And that's it. Will you try to build out your own opposing table? I'm really curious to know if ever you found another solution. I also thought of using um, actual laptop desks. Um, they, I didn't think they would be that steady, especially if you have someone leaning over it but it could be a great option if you find something that is actually more stable. And if you found this video helpful, I'd appreciate if you give this video a good old thumbs up and let me know in the comments if ever you didn't appreciate it. And since you're there, you might also consider subscribing for more helpful tips like this DIY posing table that I just showed you. And as always, this has been Evansby, Montreal Advertising and Portrait Photographer. And remember, together, let's light the world. Cheers.